Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Fox Tech. Today, we're going to tackle a common question that many iPhone users have. How to change the screensaver on your iPhone. Now, when we talk about the screensaver on the iPhone, it could mean a couple of things. So I'm going to explain both aspects, the lock screen wallpaper and the standby mode introduced in iOS 17. Let's dive right in and learn how to personalize your iPhone with custom lock screens and a smart display in standby mode. First, let's talk about the lock screen wallpaper, the one that appears each time you lock and tap your iPhone. Starting in iOS 16, Apple introduced the ability to create multiple lock screens, allowing you to personalize your iPhone in a unique way. To create a new lock screen, simply unlock your iPhone while staying at the lock screen. Now, touch and hold the screen until the lock screen wallpaper gallery appears. Here, you can choose from the featured wallpapers or suggested photos based on different categories. It's a great way to set a custom background that reflects your style and preferences. But we're not done yet. You can take it a step further and customize the lock screen even more. For example, tap on the time displayed on the lock screen and you'll have the option to select a different font and color. This allows you to fine tune the aesthetics of your lock screen. Additionally, you can add widgets to the top of your lock screen for quick access to information like your calendar, weather, and clock. It's a fantastic way to stay updated with important details without even unlocking your phone. Now, let's see how you can browse through all your lock screens and even create new ones through the settings. Open up your settings app, scroll down to the wallpaper section, and there you'll see all your current available wallpapers. Simply swipe horizontally to go through your collection, and if you want to create a new one, just go all the way to the right. From there, you can customize both your lock screen and home screen wallpapers. It's a fun and easy way to give your iPhone a fresh look whenever you want. All right, now let's talk about standby mode, which is the other aspect you might mean when referring to the term screensaver on an iPhone. Standby mode was introduced in iOS 17, and it transforms your iPhone into a customizable smart display when connected to power and placed horizontally. This mode is automatically activated when your phone is connected to a power source like a lightning cable or a MagSafe charger. It allows you to make the most out of your iPhone while it's docked or charging. The best part about standby mode is the ability to customize the widgets displayed on the screen. You can choose from pre-populated options like the clock, calendar, photos, and more. It's a handy way to keep track of your schedule, see your favorite memories in the photo widget, and access essential information at a glance. While standby mode supports some third-party widgets, currently only Apple's widgets are available in this mode. Nevertheless, it still offers a convenient and visually appealing smart display for your iPhone. Another perk of standby mode is live activities, such as timers and delivery tracking, which are presented right on the screen for easy access. And when you use Siri in standby mode, the results are displayed in a full screen format, ensuring better visibility and a seamless experience. So there you have it, how to change the screensaver on your iPhone. We've covered customizing your lock screen wallpapers and exploring the awesome standby mode in iOS 17. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you can now make your iPhone truly yours with these personalized features. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tricks. As always, I appreciate your support. Until next time, peace.